Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today we're going to continue with uh, a couple of other videos that we've been doing where we've been creating a design to hang on a wall. And the reason that I wanted to do this one is I found these really beautiful little containers, and this was in a flea market. Uh, and I think they're really nice. They're little kind of handcrafted ones. So we've got one on the wall already, and this is probably my favorite one. Uh, and they've got this lovely, step that you can use for holding them against the wall. So really we should knock a nail into the wall and then hang it straight on and then it would just sit absolutely perfectly. But I don't want to damage my wall so um, if you're okay with that I'm just hanging it on a wire. So we're going to use basically the black and white one and uh, what I've done is I've put a little bit of floral foam in there just to make life easy. And the materials I've got is I've got a little bit of grasses, I've got some lovely clematis and this has started to go to seed we've got really the star of our show is going to be this uh, lovely phalaenopsis orchid so the first thing we want to do is work out what we're going to do with our clematis so I think what we want to do is have it here and uh, what I need to do is just actually create a bend in that stem. So I'm just very gently with my finger and index, well my index finger and my thumb is starting to put a bend on that. And then we can place that in to our pot. So I also want to have a little look at this branch. We've got some kind of messy bits and we could tidy it up a little bit. Or you might find that you like the messy bits. I quite like this little dark bits on because it picks up on the colour of the pot with that. So I think we'll leave them for the moment. And it might be nice to go up the way with that. So we're going to cut that, cut that, lose a little bit of that material. It is just a case of stepping back and looking and thinking, right, how do we want to do this? That is going to cause a little bit of a problem. So, just taking that a little bit shorter means that we've got this line. In fact, we can emphasize that line a little bit. So I really want this just to look like it's coming down as one. Now, I've got a little bit of eucalyptus and we can use that just really just to hide the edge of the container a little bit. And also just to the back a little bit as well. So at this point, we've really not done a lot of work at all, but we've got something that's looking really interesting. So now I need to look at our orchid, and this has got a really good shape. I think we could probably just cut it and just go straight in. So I'm actually letting this come forward a little bit as well. But also letting it just mirror that shape. So the only thing left to do then is just look at our grasses and decide if we want to use them. I do love them because they just feel so light and airy and they are going to give us a little bit of a contrast to the heaviness of our um, orchid. Yeah. And uh, that is really kind of that. So we can actually use our little wire at the back here just to catch a leaf. So that can take that back a little bit. Yeah, I think it's better slightly more to the side. And 
And that's it. It's as simple as that. We've got a lovely little container that's really like a little bespoke piece of pottery. We've used the minimal of materials, but we've got a beautiful line uh, going on in there. Actually, I might just move that back so that it uh, helps the line a little bit as well. So you could really enjoy creating a wall hanging arrangement with the minimal materials such as this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and click here to subscribe and catch us next time for another new idea from Flourgeous.